My mother has been building compost piles for as long as I can remember. She started making these woven compost baskets around 20 years ago. She makes them from old bushes and twigs. These beautiful woven baskets are absolutely eye-catching, a piece of art. The most recent one is a linden masterpiece, probably the best looking one of them all. And here are my mom's best tips for building a woven compost basket. You need thicker straight branches that you can use as posts, a large pile of tall thin branches, an axe, hand pruners, time and patience. Cut off all the side shoots from the thicker branches. Remove the side shoots from the thin branches. Draw up a circle and put the thicker branches around the circle. Use the back of the axe to hammer the thick branch into the ground, leaning outward slightly. Walk into the circle and start weaving. Keep weaving until your basket is tall enough. If you run out of thin branches, you could always keep working another day. And you can decide yourself how large you want your compost basket to be, but it's important to remember that you need an uneven number of thicker branches that you use as posts for the basket. Start off your pile by putting a layer of grass clippings or leaves in the bottom. After that, it's easy to start adding scraps from your kitchen and your garden to the pile. My mother makes sure not to put any animal source produce in there to avoid pests. When it's time to empty the kitchen scraps, she lifts the top layer and empties the bucket there, and then she puts the composting material back on top as a lid. These baskets last a good while. It takes around 10 years before they decompose completely, my mother tells me. This is the final step, where the basket and the compost becomes one. More details at sarabakmo.com. There's a link in the description to a blog post about these lovely compost baskets.